Disclaimer on. This video is pure for education purpose only. Please do your own research. Hi everyone, come back with us on the PuCoin Research Channel. This time we have a request for Analyze Doge Dash token. Is this legit or scam? Check this out. Doge Dash. Symbol, Doge Dash. Current price, $0.00018. CMC rank, 925. This token running on the BNB Smart Chain. Maximum supply is 100 billion tokens. Total supply 90 billion tokens. But only 54 billion tokens in circulation. 43.1% market volume on PancakeSwap with BNB pairing. 34.1% is on Gate.io. It is a central exchange. And 18% of market volume is in LA token. It is also a central exchange. This token was created on October 8, 2021. Five months ago. Doge Dash is a play to earn gaming concept. You can download the free to play mobile version, available on the App Store and Play Store. This is the concept of the game the dog runs to collect the coins, but there are various obstacles to overcome. If you succeed, there will be a reward for the winner. Looks easy and simple. They also sell some merchandise. Unisex Doge Dash Ultra Cotton Tee From $35 Doge Dash Premium Hoodie From $67 If you are interested, you can order directly on their website. Doge Dash NFT Listing on OpenSea Marketplace Account Name Doge Dash. They have 4,100 items. 1,600 donors. Floor price, 0.05 Ethereum. And volume traded, 311 Ethereum. This is their NFT collection from floor price, 0.05 Ethereum. And this is ultra rare NFT, 8,888 Ethereum. That's the equivalent of $23.5 million. Do you want it? This is their white paper. Doge Dash is a play to earn gaming and NFT ecosystem utilizing in BNB Smart Chain. About gameplay. There are three levels. Easy. You get three lives, and max reward 1000 coins. Medium level. You get two lives, and max reward 3000 coins. And lastly, elites. You only get one lives but the reward is a maximum of 10,000 coins. If you are a gamer, you must try this game. 2022 will be the year that sees Doge Dash find a home in the metaverse. Currently in the process of acquiring land in Sandbox which will house Doge World. Roadmap. In quarter one, their list is Fiat on ramp, Trust Wallet integration, Leaderboard, NFT integration, and mobile app monetization. And for quarter two, Doge Dash 3D, 3D NFT collection, and marketplace. In quarter 3, Doge Card Game, Card NFTs, and cross chain integration. Maybe they will expand in the Polygon network. And for the last quarter 2022, the will release Sandbox Metaverse Doge World, the team behind this project. Cordell Broadus is creative director, and Paul Kalson is founder of Doge Dash. Paul Kalson. Here is a link to the Doge Dash website. Paul Castlin is an award-winning director and creative director excelling in both the entertainment and blockchain industries. His expertise in the live directing field has seen him branch out into the world of creative direction for television performances and award shows. This has included the role of creative director for the 2014-2019 and the 2018-2021 MTV VMAs. So, this project has a clear developer. They also have a staking program if you want to get passive income. Staking pools. Here you can staking tokens with 3 locking period options. First, lock staking for 15 days. You will get APR up to 20.09%. Then lock staking 30 days. You will get APR up to 20.42%. And lock staking 60 days. You will get annual percentage rate up to 22.76%. Let's try the calculation. For example, 
If you invest $1,000, that's the equivalent of 5,300,000 Doge Dash tokens. At the end of the staking period 15 days, you will receive $8.26. This value follows the current Doge Dash price. And for a period of 30 days, you will receive return on investment, $16.51. For a period of 60 days, you will receive $33.02. This is the TVL, total value locked. $858,000 for 15 days staking, $1,680,000 for 30 days staking, and $2,270,000 for 60 days of staking. They also have a liquidity pool program, but you need to prepare Doge Dash token and BNB coin to be able to participate. For a period of 15 days, you will receive 129.84% APR. For a period of 30 days, you will receive 100.37% APR. And for a period of 60 days, you will receive 125.76% APR. I don't know why the 30-day period gives such a small APR. Let's calculate. If you invest $1,000, you will receive $46.04 in 15 days. For staking 30 days, you will receive $92.07. And staking 60 days, you will receive $184.15. Total Value Locks $85,000 for a 15-day period $232,000 for a 30-day period and $532,000 for a 60-day period. Being a liquidity provider has a different method from staking tokens. So you have to understand the basic concepts before starting to become a liquidity provider. Their smart contracts have been audited by Solidity Finance. And his findings regarding ownership control. The owner can modify the distribution fee, burn fee, and marketing fee to any percentages at any time. The owner can exclude and include accounts from transfer fees and reward distribution. The owner can update the team's marketing wallet to any address at any time. The owner has the ability to use the lock function in order to temporarily set ownership to address zero. Ownership is restored after the duration of time determined by the owner has passed and they use the unlock function. The unlock function has the potential to be used after ownership is renounced, which will restore ownership to the original owner that initially created the ownership lock. This can be used in a nefarious way by the project team to restore ownership and change fee structures. We recommend that the unlock function is modified to set the previous owner equals address 0 at the end of the unlock function to prevent it from being used more than once per lock. For more details, the link for audit result is in the description. This is a price chart from Doge Dash. Started trading on October 9, 2021, and touched the all-time high November 14. At the price of $0.0033. An increase of up to 198,200% of the launch price. It's crazy. And then there is downtrend from November to January to minus 89.15%. And the period from January to now, the price is still sideways. But for initial holders, they still profit 10,900%. Swap Analysis These tokens are sellable. And also, 60% of the liquidity is already in the central exchange. So you don't have to worry about this token will be a honeypot. Transaction tax is 5%. 2% for marketing, and 3% for deflationary, this is a burning mechanism. This tax is only for transactions on PancakeSwap, so to avoid it, you can do transactions on the central exchange. Contract source has been verified. Burning fee 3%, check. And marketing fee is 2%, check. This is the wallet address for marketing. The ownership is not renounced. And this is the total reward, about 7.6 billion tokens, that is equivalent to 7.6% of the total supply. I think this is the total reward for play to earn game. Correct me if I'm wrong. You don't have to worry about the honeypot because this token is already listed on four central exchanges, it is a guarantee that this token can be sold at any time. Buy and sell tax is normal, 5%. 2% for marketing, and 3% for burning. This only applies if you buy on PancakeSwap, to avoid taxes, make transactions on the central exchange. The Holder Analysis 
This is information about the initial distribution of tokens. 65% supply for community. 10% for teams. 10% for rewards. And 15% for marketing. Let's compare. 100% supply sent to deployer wallet. 65% of total supply is sent to pancake swap for liquidity, check. 15% supply sent to marketing wallet, check. 10% supply sent to team wallet, check. And 10% supply for rewards sent to 9 wallets, 1% each wallet, check. All allocations are clear, I guarantee this is free from manipulation. Current holder, 96,278. 27% of the total supply is in this contract wallet. There are deposit and withdrawal methods. This is a wallet for staking program. 26.2% of total supply in lock vesting. There are a lot of locking periods here, so I'll just randomly check. This locks for 10% of total supply. This lock period will end in the next 5 days. 12.9% of the total supply has been burned. Looks like this is an auto burn program. Last burn was 7 minutes ago. This wallet has 2.8% total supply. I think this is team wallet. Correct me if I'm wrong. And this is a top holder wallet, containing 1.2% of the total supply. Holder analysis results. All parameters are safe. No personal wallet has supply above 3%, that's good. The last, liquidity analysis. Current market cap, $10 million. Liquidity availability on PancakeSwap, 3,248 BNB. 99% of total liquidity is owned by two wallets. 34.6% of liquidity is in this wallet, come check it out. Here is the same as before. There are deposit and withdrawal methods. This is a wallet for liquidity providers program. And 63.1% liquidity is locked. Let's check. Liquidity in pancake swap is only locked for the next 23 days. That's April 8, 2022. Liquidity analysis result. Availability of liquidity in pancake swap, it's safe. 63% liquidity locked for the next 23 days. Even though this token has been listed on many sexes, I hope the developer will continue to extend the lock duration for the convenience of investors. If the market cap of Doge Dash is equivalent to Axie Infinity, then the price of this token has the potential to increase 346 times from its current price. That's the equivalent of $0.0065. This prediction is based on the amount of market cap and supply token. Alright. My conclusion. There are four pros and one cons to this project. The pros. It is a community-driven token, as 65% of the total supply is sent to PancakeSwap for liquidity. Second, Doge Dash is currently listed on four central exchanges, so you don't have to worry about project scams. Third, if you want to get passive income, you can stake your tokens, or also become a liquidity provider. And the Lash, the founder regularly does AMAs, I think this project has a clear developer. And, the cons. 63% liquidity only locked for the next 23 days, that's not good. Even though this token has been listed on several sexes. I hope developers keep locking liquidity on DEX. That is my personal analysis of the Doge Dash token. The analysis I use is based on blockchain transaction data. If you have any requests and questions, comment below. See you on next analysis, goodbye.